Welcome back to Worst of the Wii, the show where I play and rank terrible Wii games to find out which game is truly the worst of the Wii. Last time I played 5 games suggested by viewers like you, and today I'm playing another frequently requested game. That's right, for some reason a lot of people want me to play Chicken Shoot, so I'm gonna play some Chicken Shoot. And this isn't my first rodeo with this game either, no no. Me and Chicken Shoot go way back. In fact, we go all the way back to 2007, when I first first got my Wii. Yup, Chicken Shoot was one of the very first games I owned on my Wii, unfortunately. But hey, it's been years since I've played this game, and surely it can't be much worse than anything Data Design has made. Right? Right? Anyway, time for me to give Chicken Shoot one more shot. Chicken Shoot has a history long before the Wii. The game was first released in the early 2000s for the PC, and was subsequently ported to the Game Boy Advance, Nintendo DS, and the version we all know and love, the Wii port. What's really funny to me is that the initial PC release received pretty good reviews, but with every single release after that, reception just got worse and worse. So yeah, Chicken Shoot is pretty infamous. So I want to take a minute to look back at its developer, Tracks. I mean, Frontline Studios, with, uh, Calaris Studio? Okay, I've done some research into this, and there are so many companies attached to this project, I have lost track of who is actually responsible for it. Toontrack Studios is listed as the developer of the PC version, but they aren't mentioned in the Wii port at all. Topware Interactive is there, which was Toontrack's publisher, but then who is Frontline Studios? Oh no. So I have no idea who made this thing, but it seems to be a joint effort between Toon Tracks and Frontline Studios. So let's take a look at both of them. Toon Tracks was a subsidiary of German video game publisher Topware Interactive, which have released a ton of games I, and probably you, have never heard of. But as for the studio itself, Toon Tracks hasn't really done much other than Chicken Shoot. They made a Chicken Shoot 2, which was not on the Wii and thus won't be covered in this video. There's Chicken Shoot Gold, which you can buy right now on Steam, apparently. There's the Kirka Wadna Trilogy, which just seems to be Polish Chicken Shoot, where you have to shoot down as many cocks as possible. Nice. And then there's Jack Orlando, a cinematic adventure. And that's everything I could find that this studio has produced. Oh hey, wait a minute. Top 20 Toon Track Studios games. Okay, let's check it out. Oh. Okay. And as for Frontline Studios, they of course made Eminem's Kart Racing, but they also developed Duke Nukem Critical Mass for the DS. In fact, they developed quite a few games, a lot more than Toon Tracks. Yeah, Toon Tracks hasn't really done a lot, but I would argue that the infamy of Chicken Shoot itself is a substantial accomplishment for such a small studio. There is a reason why this game is bemoaned among the larger gaming community, so let's crack Chicken Shoot wide open. Ah, good old chicken shoot. It's been a while, and you haven't changed one bit. You really haven't changed one bit. So we have three modes to choose from. Arcade, Classic, and Catch an Egg. We can also choose our difficulty, but I just went with medium. The gameplay of Chicken Shoot is your standard arcade shooter. Chickens will fly around the level, and you can shoot them down by pointing the Wii Remote at the screen and pressing the B button. You can also shoot at targets to receive gun upgrades, such as a rifle and a submachine gun. Once you run out of ammo with these upgrades, your gun will change back to the standard handgun, so you're constantly switching between guns in each level. The gameplay is... fine. It's definitely better than the M&M's Beach Party shooting gallery, but there really isn't a ton of feedback when you shoot chickens, and the game does very little to switch things up. Despite there being 11 levels, each one is almost exactly the same, with the only real difference being the backgrounds and the music. Levels are generally long horizontal pictures that scroll with your gun's reticle. It's a little awkward, especially because you can't see the entire level at once. Some chickens will throw eggs at you, and you won't even be able to see them if they're off screen. The only exception to the horizontally scrolling levels is the final stage, which scrolls vertically instead. Arcade mode and classic mode have minor differences. Arcade mode requires you to shoot a specific number of chickens as designated by the counter in the top left of the screen. Once the counter reaches zero, a sparkling chicken will fly by, and shooting it down will progress you to the next level. Classic mode is a bit different. This mode is on a timer, 
and if the timer reaches zero, you lose. You can shoot at specific targets to gain more time. And like arcade mode, shooting the sparkling chicken will move you on to the next level. I think classic mode is by far the more engaging of the two modes, thanks to the timer. It's still not the most difficult challenge, but the slight bit of tension is welcomed. My only issue with classic mode is that there really isn't a good indication of when the level is nearing its end. The sparkling chicken just seems to appear at random, so you basically just need to survive until it just decides to show up. Another issue I have with Chicken Shoot's design is how the game forces you to restart from level 1 if you lose. I made it to the final level of the game and I could not for the life of me figure out how to break the giant egg. Once time ran out, I had to restart from level 1 and play through the previous 10 stages again just to have another attempt at the final task. And yeah, the last stage is called the final task. I'm not the only one that finds that name somewhat genocidal, am I? As for the game's presentation, it's, um, let's just say culturally insensitive. Also, Chicken Shoot is home to one of the absolute most insane things I have ever seen in a video game. There is one level that takes place in the Himalayas, and the music is just fucking yodeling. The Himalayas are in Asia. Holy shit! And sometimes the background elements aren't even layered correctly, as seen with the river in the Scandinavian level. The whole game just has this undeniably cheap feel to it. But the absolute worst part of this game for me was when the aiming reticle went absolutely out of control. Sure, there were some times when the reticle wasn't hitting what it clearly should have, But there was one point where the reticle just started warping across the screen for no reason, and it made the game unplayable for about 5 minutes. I don't even know how I completed the level, this was insanely bad. I tried pausing the game, unplugging the sensor bar, nothing worked. Eventually it just kind of fixed itself, but if that had continued, I would have been forced to put this game in the borderline unplayable tier. But as it stands, hang on, wait wait a minute, I completely forgot to talk about the catch an egg mode. Um. It's definitely the worst mode in the game. It just feels completely tacked on and it controls horribly. You use motion controls to point in the direction you want to hold the basket and the controls are super sensitive and yada yada yada, you, you know the drill. So yeah, Chicken Shoot is bad. But if you've seen any other episode of Worst of the Wii, this game clearly isn't the worst game I've played. Not even close. It's simple and it works most of the time. More than anything though, it's just boring due to a lack of gameplay and level variety. Still, I don't think it's worse than Eminem's Beach Party. Eminem's Beach Party is like the cutoff right now for the real shitty and unpolished games. Chicken Shoot may be bad, but trust me, it is not terrible to the extent of everything above it. And that's Chicken Shoot! I've been getting a lot of requests for this one, and while this is a shorter Worst of the Wii, I didn't want to keep you all waiting too much longer. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and um, why is there still that much time left in the video? What the hell is this? Chicken Blaster? This isn't the sequel to Chicken Shoot, right? No, Chicken Shoot 2 is something completely different, but the chicken on the box kinda looks like the one from Chicken Shoot? Huh, I, I wonder who developed this then? Frontline Studios? So, uh, yeah, originally this video was going to only be about Chicken Shoot, but when I went to my local retro game store to buy Chicken Shoot, I also found Chicken Blaster, which was actually suggested to me pretty recently, but I guess I just completely forgot it existed? I legitimately thought it was a sequel to Chicken Shoot at first, but I don't think it has any relation to Chicken Shoot. Toon Tracks doesn't seem to be involved, but Frontline Studios is back. So is this like an off-brand of Chicken Shoot? I have no idea. But it does involve shooting chickens, so why not cover this game too? I mean, surely, it can't be much worse than the iconic Chicken Shoot, right? It's so much worse. It is so much fucking worse. Chicken Blaster has basically the same gameplay as Chicken Shoot. You aim at the screen, get gun upgrades, and shoot chickens. But this time, it's in 3D, and those are certainly graphics. Yeah, the third dimension really doesn't add much to this game. 
In fact, I would argue it subtracts. My main issue with Chicken Blaster is that there are a ton of chickens on screen at any given time, but they all end up clumping together. Half of the time I never really felt the need to aim my shots because they were always bound to hit something. This makes gameplay even more stale than Chicken Shoot. It is actually just mindless. But I will say, I do like how you progress through levels. Instead of the levels being static backgrounds like Chicken Shoot, you move to different areas after shooting the required number of chickens. You need to initiate this transition yourself with the nunchuck though, and I'm not exactly sure why the game just doesn't move you automatically. There were several instances where I didn't even notice I could progress because the icon just doesn't stand out enough. You also have a life bar, and you take damage when you're hit with eggs, but if you shoot the eggs before they hit you, you get health back. I feel this mechanic is necessary because normal health drops are pretty limited, and more often than not you will have barely any time to react to the eggs hitting you. Seriously, sometimes these things just appear out of nowhere, but the best strategy to deal with eggs is to just look away. Yeah, you can dodge eggs just by slightly moving the screen. It's actually kind of a fun mechanic that adds a little bit of skill to the game. But then the game just decides to give you a fucking rocket launcher that destroys everything on screen and remove all of the skill. Yeah, the weapon drops in this game are absurd, and they are way more fun than the ones in Chicken Shoot. You still lose them when you run out of ammo like in Chicken Shoot, but you can freely swap weapons in this game. You can get the rocket launcher or the laser gun early in the level, swap back to the basic handgun, and then pull out one of the better weapons for the boss fight. Oh yeah, there are bosses in this game, and they are easily the worst part of it. Not every level has a boss fight. Out of the 8 levels in the game, only 4 of them end with a boss, and all of them are mechanically the exact same. Phase 1. They throw green eggs at you that you have to shoot. Simple enough. But Phase 2 is where things get awful. You need to shoot the boss's weak spot but the weak spot isn't always visible. You can only damage the boss when this glowing red spot appears, which only lasts for a few seconds at a time. It is just such an arbitrary restriction that shows a complete lack of care for good boss design. And if you don't have one of the good weapons, the bosses just take for ever to kill. They are the definition of repetitiveness and tediousness. The bosses alone were way worse than anything in Chicken Shoot. And in general, Chicken Blaster is really lacking care. I mean, the credits are in the fucking options menu. Not even the devs want you to know who made it. And then you have the sound design, and holy shit. Yeah, this is worse than Chicken Shoot. The only thing it has going for it are the cooler weapons and the egg dodging, but everything else is way worse. Chicken Shoot is a nothing game. It's shit, but it's boring shit. Chicken Blaster has more issues with its core design that push it into frustrating shit. The constantly screaming chickens, arbitrary boss weak points, and mindless gameplay push this one just over into the frustratingly terrible tier, right below Monkey Mischief. Well, that's gonna just about do it for this video. I was originally hoping to have this one out by Thanksgiving, but we kind of impulse adopted a kitten. So yeah, this is Smudge. She's about two and a half months old. She's very cute and soft, and she loves to eat headphones. Because I'm planning on posting a video at least once a month or so going forward, I thought it would be kind of fun to include Smudge updates at the end of upcoming videos to document her growth. So please look forward to more Smudge in next month's winter slash holiday themed worst of the week. As always, if you have any game suggestions, please leave them in the comments and I'll look into them for upcoming videos. Anyway, thanks for watching everyone, have a good one.